Hello YouTube, my name is Jason Carr, you're watching Old Car Auto Guy and it's Tuesday, you know what that means. Today we are going to be reviewing our 2014 Nissan Rogue. And why the Nissan Rogue you ask? Well, because you asked for it. I posted on my Instagram and Facebook that if you guys wanted to see a vehicle reviewed, I would give you three choices. The majority chose the Nissan Rogue. If you haven't headed over to my Instagram yet and give me a follow, it is at Old Car Auto Guy. Also, my new Facebook page is Old Car Auto Guy. Not to be confused with Old Car Auto Sales, but you can follow that too. So let's get to the review. So you will notice that today we are not in the field. So today we're out front in the lot. So before we get to it, let's get a really good look around. Cue the music. couple of things about this 2014 Nissan Rogue is A, it has 114,000 kilometers, it's front wheel drive, it has a CVT automatic transmission and four brand new all season tires. As far as dents and dings, this vehicle has none. When it comes to scratches, you will find a few very minor scratches along the top of the bumper here where you open up the tailgate. It does have backup camera and if you noticed in the earlier part of the video, it has plugs in the door. And those plugs are because this vehicle has been undercoated. Take a look at this. And there is that 2.5 liter engine. As we get ready to move into the interior of the vehicle, you're going to notice that it has your standard power windows and door locks as well as your power rear view mirror. These rear view mirrors are heated and because it's an S model you don't have the power seat but you do have the height adjustment here and recline here. As we start this one up you'll see there are no warnings 106,152 kilometers on the vehicle and it has a full tank of gas just like every vehicle that leaves our lot. Steering wheel is tilt and telescoping. You've got your radio controls here in volume as well as your cruise control on this side. As we come to the center stack, you'll notice it's an AM FM radio with CD and satellite radio. Your heater controls are not automatic, but they're very well laid out and they've got some feel to the buttons. They don't feel cheap at all. You do have auxiliary as well as USB and a 12 volt plug in down here in a little storage part compartment. Cup holders, another storage, and we come into the center console and you've got another 12 volt plug in in there. In the glove box, it is large and you do have the owner's manual there for your reading pleasure. 
as well as some storage for sunglasses up top. Each visor has a mirror with light, driver and passenger, and the seats are comfortable with plenty of bolstering for your legs as well as your torso. As you can see, the interior is very clean. There is adjustable shelving in the back that can lay flat or you can put it up on different levels, as well as cup holders in the center console for your rear passengers. Something you don't see on every vehicle these days is rear vents for your rear passengers so that they can keep cool as well. And when the shelving is adjusted properly, you do have a flat floor going right up to the front driver's seat. And if you don't know, the Nissan Rogue S model does not come with tinted windows all the way around. So we felt that we would do that at an extra cost to us so that you don't have to. Now in the back seat, once again, I've got plenty of room between my knees and the driver's seat. The driver's seat was set for me, being six foot two all the way back, and I've still got plenty of room back here. And that AC feels cool. You will note that the backup camera does work, as well as the AC. So it's time for a test drive. We'll make sure the cruise control works. So one of the first questions I get asked from people who don't know what a CVT transmission is, basically, it works like a snowmobile or a four-wheeler, where you give it gas, the engine revs up, and the transmission basically catches up to itself, giving you response. It's a little bit more technical than that, but I've said before, in the Toyotas and the Nissans are the two biggest companies that seem to have had the CVT transmission down pat. You hardly even know that you're driving something that doesn't shift. I do notice that you don't hear the engine very much. The cabin seems to be very well insulated, and even with four brand new tires, there's no thumping or no noise coming from the tires either. I do have the cruise control set at 85 kilometers an hour, and the accelerate and the coast button work as well. If I hit the cancel button, everything shuts off when I start coasting. Just the way it should. From 100 kilometers an hour, the brakes are smooth, no pulsation. And without checking our records, my guess is that if it needed new brake rotors and pads, we would have done that. If not, we did service them for sure. So one thing that I did notice just now, that there is plenty of power in this vehicle for such a mid-size SUV and a four-cylinder. Now, I don't know if you heard it on camera, but there are shift points that have been entered into this transmission so that when it does go up through the different range, you're gonna feel or hear what sounds like shift points. Those are just electronic to make you feel like the transmission is shifting. I guarantee it's a CVT. Very smooth riding car, no squeaks, no rattles, very clean. I'll check the car proof and the car facts just to verify, but I do believe this is a one owner vehicle. Right now, this vehicle is telling me it gets 8.8 .8 liters per 100 kilometers. If you do the conversion, that is about 26 miles to the US gallon. Convert the US gallon to Canadian, about 33 miles to the Canadian gallon. That's for you, Ian. This vehicle also comes with two keys with remote built in, a 90 day warranty, and, like I said before, a full tank of gas. My first impression of this 2014 Nissan Rogue S rates pretty high, I guess, on my scale, due to the fact that it has all the necessary creature comforts that I like. It's got brand new tires, it's been undercoated, it's been well maintained. This car is in excellent condition, and you shouldn't have to touch it for a long time. And at a competitive price of just $16,995, there is financing available. We'll accept your trade-in, and we'll get you the best rate we can. So guys, that wraps up this Tuesday edition of Reviews Day Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you have any questions at all on this Nissan Rogue, don't forget to uh, put them in the comments section below or you can email me at the email address listed in the description box. Guys, I'm still looking for that custom video graphic or video intro music for these videos. If you have that ability and you want to send your talents to me, Again, contact information is in the description box below. I appreciate you guys tuning in and asking questions and uh, keeping up on my Instagram. Remember to always stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless, and we'll see you 
in the next video.